Oh. Hello there. <laughs> hello, hello. Or should I say, why well, hello there. Yes. Welcome, welcome everybody to the next episode of our Minecraft 1.18 Let's Play. Woo! This horse is not a jumper. All right, this, this horse is a very, very sad jumper. But yeah, everybody, welcome. Hello, hello, once again. My name is Denesto, and today we're going to be working on the village that I mentioned at the last episode. So today's start of the episode, we are going to be taking a look at this village right here. If my computer would stop struggling, it would be nice. Yeah, so we have all these guys over here, and our beautiful Fortune 2 villager is, is trapped in his forever home right here and the sun is going down so let us uh oh oh he really decided he just wanted to go somewhere else he didn't even wait okay so let's get you in here rude all right but today we are going to be fixing up this village um or at least try to. This is going to be a little bit of a slow process. So we're going to make a perimeter around the village with our little bodyguard over here. And right here is where we have a couple of villagers that I have uh, hopefully been saving and getting them to make babies. There's, there's no baby making going on. Unfortunate. This might be too low. Oh, yeah, this just might be too low. It might need to be three high instead of you know, two and a half. But that's okay because we have a lot to do today. So first off, first, I'm still in my gear from the hole right here. I'm still in my clothes or armor from the, uh, the nether expedition. So we're going to be taking our time to get ourselves a... Uh, a mending villager. I have a couple of other boyos trapped in here. Uh, I, I would love to uh, get going. So let's see, uh, let's see if we can do that. All right, so quick change of plans. As you can see, this is the village before I start tearing it down. And we're not going to do a perimeter anymore. I thought of a really cool idea to do a mansion. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's tear down this area and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so taking a break from clearing the village, we're going to go ahead and make our first enchanting table. 
So that way we can go ahead and use that skelly spawner that we worked on to get some good levels and get a good, hopefully a good enchant on our pickaxe. So let's head down to the skelly spawner and enchant this bad boy. So I worked on some villagers. I got myself a, uh, well, I have a diamond pickaxe that we used. We got fortune two on breaking efficiency one. That actually isn't too bad, but we got our fortune three book and our many book for the villagers that we used. So let's go ahead and roll this bad boy and see what we get on fortune two. Oh, something good, something good. Yes, a breaking three, fortune two, efficiency three. That is big. All right, so after all that weirdness, weird time lapse, we have finally got ourselves a barn. That is correct. The barn is now built. Don't you like it? I like it. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. We have ourselves a, a pretty cool barn, something different that I, I don't think I ever would have done, but it uh, it is what it is. So. We have a nice little offset roof. Well, I guess it's offset. <laughs> but yeah, we got this completed. Uh, I'm gonna pretty much detail it off camera because there is a lot that I need to do with it. So yeah, I'll, I'll make it look a little bit more weathered and that should give it a little bit more texture. I'll put some other things around too to give it more, more depth, some more textures. Uh, but yeah, I, I really dig it so far. So, down here on the bottom, uh, I, I don't know what we're going to put here. We'll put some barn stuff <laughs> in here. And up top, I think we might have a storage up top. We'll see. When I, when I do that, we, uh, we'll see. Because this might be my storage area. If not, I'll, I'll make a storage area underneath the house. Because, yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> we need an actual storage area. And then right here is where the piggies are going to go. So I had a different idea of how to do this, but it didn't turn out the way I wanted. And actually, I, I kind of really enjoy this. This little railing gives it something completely different. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. I will do this off camera, like I said. And, and I will see where it goes. Also, I 
off camera, installed a rail. That is right, we have this area right here that uh, I'm going to be kind of putting throughout the town. We're going to have our roads connecting to different places, and next episode, we're going to start connecting that road to another building. So we're at, well, we're going to connect it here, I should say, to, uh, to our portal area. And then we have another building over there where the skelly spawner is that we will connect it. But yeah, what do you guys think about this? I think it looks pretty good. This is just a, a work in progress. I'm going to make this look weathered too, like it's been here for quite a while. Uh, so yeah, and I changed out the road. The road, I think, looks a little bit better. We got some granite with some coarse dirt and some rooted dirt. And I think this makes it look a little bit better than the uh, the path blocks. The path blocks I'll save for uh, for a different area. But since this is supposed to be like an old jungle area, um, that's that's what we're going to do. Like an old jungle village. Uh, something else that you might have noticed earlier. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it was in here. But we have a map. That is right. A little map of the area so that we can see how we progress in the future. Everything looks so off and oh, you know what? I think it's because of all the vegetation. I noticed that I updated the map without all the vegetation on it, so it might look a little weird. I think that's exactly what it is. Yeah, see how it doesn't line up like uh like about right here. It's probably because I removed all the vegetation, those little green things around. Uh same with over here. I th I think that's what it is. But yeah, I, I completely forgot to do that at the start with the maps that we had, but we'll have this going so we can see how our village progresses. And we'll have to date this one too. I, I didn't get to date this one, but um, the day I'm working on this video is April 15th. So we'll date this because I did update this map on the 15th and this map on the 15th. These two were the night before, so 14th. Diagonal on the 15th diagonal here. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to call it there. Pretty, pretty solid episode. Kind of weird, kind of out of the norm of the flow. But I think that is what it is. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy, please make sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't. So, until next time, I'll see you all. Take care and goodbye.